Hello, Carl here with Sustainability Theory News. We're going to be going through a couple of different websites today talking about automating a greenhouse with a Raspberry Pi computer. Raspberry Pi, pictured here on the diagram, it's a very cheap, simple computer, around 20 to 40 bucks, depending on how many accessories you get on it. But a couple of different people have used it to build greenhouse controllers. They have a 12 volt power supply, they use some PC fans on some of them, some use regular full size 120 volt fans. Uh, if you're trying to use solar power, probably want to use 12 volt fans, that way you don't need to get a power inverter. They have some servos that can open up vents on the roof. This one they just used a Harbor Freight greenhouse that are pretty common out there around. Um, but the comments of this article are also very good. It directed me to the Amazon pages for some automatic vent openers. Apparently you don't even need electricity to open these vents automatically. You just use a cylinder with some gas in it and you adjust the pressure so when it reaches a certain temperature, pressure expands in the cylinder and opens the vents. When it goes back down to the lower temperature, it closes the vents. Pretty simple design. 34 bucks about the cost of a Raspberry Pi computer on its own, but if you're trying to create a smart solar or a smart controller for your greenhouse, it's going to require some effort. <clears throat> now, we're going raspberrypigeek.com. There, the links will be in the description. This guy basically set up a uh, some computer fans with a solar panel and a Raspberry Pi, and there's some tutorials. Just remember to go down here to multiple pages, and uh, that way you can see the whole tutorial. Rasp piviv.com it's raspberry pi vivarium controller vivarium is sort of like a terrarium for lizards or an aquarium for fish but it can be used for greenhouses basically uh, it has a pretty good section under build it getting started required software it has step-by-step -step directions on how to get your raspberry pi set up to uh, for temperature sensors hook up to outlets for fans but this site tutorials-raspberrypi.com might have the best tutorial on here because it talks about soil moisture sensors and hooking them up to your Raspberry Pi. You're going to need to know a little bit about computer code. Here they have a spot where you, at the end of the tutorial, where you can download the code from GitHub and put it right into your Raspberry Pi. But you're going to need to know how to customize it a little bit. There's this thing in coding called if then statement. So if the temperature goes above this mark, then open the vents or turn on the fan. Maybe turn on air conditioner if you have that sort of thing. Um, if the moisture in this soil, patch of soil falls below here, turn on the irrigation for five minutes. So you're going to need to have some minor adjustments on there. Maybe you put up some solar sensors if you don't have solar power to tell when the sun is coming up. Uh, there's all sorts of different t tweaks and tricks you could use for Raspberry Pis. Um, <clears throat> on top of the pages I've shown you, I'm also going to link to the Open Agriculture Initiative page, which talks about com basically plant computers, a fully controlled grow room in a box, has uh, controller su systems, uh, irrigation systems, and their wiki page is also very helpful, wiki.openag.media.mit, so it's out of the Massachusetts Institute of technology. So I will be linking to all these pages in the description if you want to read more about how to build your own Raspberry Pi greenhouse. Remember there's several tutorials here, some more detailed than others. If you'd like to see more news headlines like this, subscribe to my channel. Have a great day.